Good. Okay, we, we finish the first part. The medical part is as much as we can without giving up the beans, you know, or giving up the fort, or giving up the house. Uh, the next step would be for Walter and Danielle to discuss the water energy, mm -hmm. which is uh, what we've talked about, and uh, I'll let them go now, Danielle. Walter, you want to explain to Danielle a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I, I talked to him for a couple of minutes. Uh, if you speak German to me, it's easier yeah, to yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Also, die Wassertechnologie arbeitet, das sind zwei Turbinen in einem Rohr. Es werden zwei Turbinen gestartet, die drehen. Und die schmeißen mit einer Frequenz, schmeißen die Schadstoffe raus, ob das Pestizide, Fungide, Pille von der Pille, Reste, Hormone, alles raus. Und okay. du kannst das bauen, groß, klein, egal. Okay, first technology we now want to talk about is water cleaning technology. Meaning, um, usually when you want to clean the water, um, many chemicals are used. But the problem is that very yeah. often the chemicals, they don't get rid of all the poison in the water. They, they are poisoning the water anymore. And so what uh, our colleagues have invented is a technology which works, first of all, with two turbines. They create two opposing hurricanes in a box. And with this centrifugal power, all uh, the, the dirt and hormones and everything will be first through the centrifugal power, will be uh, in a physical process removed from the water. And then we put a, a, a frequency into the uh, tubings, and with this frequency we have also the ability, ability to clean the water from all of, all of the chemicals. So at the end you have, with a very similar, uh, very simple and very easy natural process, 100% uh, clean water. And you don't have to worry that any kind of, of chemicals or, or medicine that has been used uh, still remains in the water. So it's an easy way, a cheap way, and we can extend that to any size and, and volume that we need. We can, we can eliminate the problems that are created by Fukushima with such, with such a machine if it's big enough. Am I correct? Good question. We haven't checked it yet so far. The, the, the tests on, on radioactive cleaning is, mm -hmm. is not completed yet. No, I, I'm, no. Push, I'm pushing here when I said that. Mm -hmm. I know it's a small machine right now. Yes. I'm just thinking on a bigger scale, what mm -hmm. could we do to help the ocean, to help our ecosystem? But, uh, but for a village with a river, a dirty river, because people are going to the toilet even in there maybe. I don't know. But this is the only water they've got to drink and they can get sick, terribly sick. This would be ideal for them. Yes. Äh, ja, äh, absolut. Daniel, Daniel, wir müssen aufpassen, äh, wir müssen sagen dabei noch, der Dreck, wenn das reinigt, ja, der Dreck geht direkt im Kanal rein, sofort weg. Mhm. Das gute Wasser geht im Haus rein und was das ausspült, Hormone, alles geht direkt im, im Kanal rein. Ja. Ist weg. This also eliminates the fluoride that's being, for example, in the US, mhm. like Flint, Michigan. In Flint, Michigan, you've got all kinds of shit that they thrown in the water to kill the people. Okay. I mean, you got a, you got a black mare who's, who's in, in the process of basically doing nothing to help his own people because he's part of the game itself. Mm -hmm. So these people are, 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 are going to get sick and people, kids, have, children have died already. People have died already. With these machines, they can put, they put them in their house or are they too big to put in the house? No, no, it's they can a, be used it's for... It's a small machine. It's yeah, a small it can machine. be used machine. for apartments. It's a kleine machine. Yeah. yeah. And you can put one in the basement of, of, a, of an apartment yeah, complex whatever. maybe? Basement. And, but would it take care of more than one unit? Does it take care of one unit or ten units or? For one house, one unit. One house, one unit. The apartment complex would be, so, say, eight apartments. They That's all the need one. You can use them by floors. Yeah. You can use them by floors. Let's say you have an hotel. You can mm -hmm. have one for each hotel floor, mm -hmm. small units, or you can put the big one. And it would take care of the whole hotel floor. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Each room, one. Yes. Two, three, yeah. Okay, yeah. so it's that's that's good enough to take care of like five small apartments. Yes. yes. That's good. That's interesting, mm -hmm. and it'll help the people in the in the villages, like in Indonesia, the people who are in the, in the mountains. They have no mm -hmm. energy, they have no water. They mm -hmm. they're barely alive. Some of them, and we need to keep them alive. We need to pe keep people like that alive because mm -hmm. just because they're in the mountains and they're, they're outside what we call civilization, when we talk uh, civilization being a city, mm -hmm. you know, there's no reason for us to neglect them. Absolutely, you know. We need to help them. We need to help all the people. They need to help. Flint, Michigan needs help. You're talking about an entire city possibly disappearing from the face of the earth because of what they're doing to it in the United States of all places. 
It's it is unbelievable. <laughs> and they're neglecting them. The senators in Michigan are neglecting them. The Levin, the Levin's a cabal. And they voted them in as senators, which they should never have done. Now they're paying the price for voting for them, and they're going to end up dead. It's not fair, because they didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, so this, this is my question. They, they can buy them, they can put them in their homes, or do they put them in the river? And they put them in the river. That's an answer. You know, that's a totally different opportunity. For example, while you were mentioning that political issue, you think if you talk about water, you also need to talk about Nestle. No. Nope. Nestle. The big company. The yeah, Nestle. Company. Nestle yeah. We've got, we've got, we've got to eliminate Nestle. Period. Yeah. Because they're taking our water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and they're not paying us. Yes, absolutely. And what they did, for example, in in India and in African countries, you know, to to buy all the water resources for fresh water. What they're doing in California with Governor Brown just giving them the water. Oh really? <laughs> okay. They gave them the water. They've not charged them anything for them, and they mm -hmm. just took it. They're going to take it and walk away. Okay. And I mean, you know. And we must make sure, and that is our big goal, is that the fight for water must not be become a kind of issue in the next century. It will if we don't do something against it. And this is what we're doing right now yeah. with this machine. We're showing yeah. them that we're not going to need their water so they can, they can do whatever they want. Exactly. And we're still going to get the water that we need to stay alive. Absolutely. So screw them. Absolutely. In the meantime, we'll, we'll do what we have to do to, to, to hurt them like they're hurting us. Exactly. And to use this machine is cheaper than, for example, to make new drilling points for fresh water, especially in countries like uh, the southern countries like Africa, India and countries like that. It is cheaper to use this machine for, for, for villages and for, for apartment houses than to oh, have their own expensive drilling points to the deep to get their own fresh water resources. Yeah. And therefore, I think this is a very interesting and, and a brilliant opportunity, for example, that we can use the, the, the resource water in the common, let's say, 10, 50, 20, 50 years. Um, well, we can clean the water. That's, that's a good thing. We can yeah. clean it. Fluoride disappears, am I right? The fluoride that they're putting in the water supposedly dumb us down. Mm -hmm. Actually, they made me, if, they, if they dumbed me down, I could only imagine what I had been like before. The interesting thing Why? is... Why? I must have been a monster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what we are thinking at the moment of, you know, the, the, the development of the machine itself has been finished, but we are thinking at the moment of the opportunity for using this technology also for cleaning the oceans. Well, you were well, that's, mentioning, that's for example, what I mentioned a long time ago, Walter, mm -hmm. we got to yeah. clean the ocean. Yeah. yeah. And we, we, he's, with, with the, we can do that if we make it bigger. Because we, miniature plastic, one of the biggest problems worldwide at the moment is how to get rid of miniature plastics. Because mm -hmm. The fish is eating the miniature plastic, we are eating fish, so everybody gets poisoned by, yeah. mini, by, by, by mini plastics. Yeah. We can get rid of mini plastics out of the water with this technology. Exactly. And also, yeah, you know. what we could do, Walter, and, and we got to think about, is you know, the ocean's big. It's very big. And we're not talking about five apartments when we start talking about an ocean. Yeah. <laughs> okay? We're, talking, we're not talking 10 machines. We might be talking 100 machines, 200 machines. 500 machines in different locations, like different points, just like our body connects point yeah. to point before our body reacts. It could be the same way there. Where if we put enough machines in, mm -hmm. that the machines will be reacting to one another from one mm -hmm. coast to the other. And it'll clean, it'll clean our water, it'll clean our ecosystem, and it'll allow the, the fish to survive or thrive again. And what they've done with the, the oil spills and everything else, and, and with Fukushima and things like this, it'll disappear, maybe. Mm -hmm. yes? Mm -hmm. yep. yes? Hopefully, yes, of course. Are we hoping or we think you're that... No, way? the point is, the technology provides it. The question, for example, as you told me, it's a question how much you can scale that technology. Yeah, because yes. if you have a volume of an ocean, you know, it's, it's very competitive to, to deal with this well, size. Well, the, the oceans are connecting, you know, and I mean, it's just sort of hard to, to, to not look at it like that. Because Absolutely. Because one goes to the other, and what are you, you going to do, put up a barricade or put up a, a, a dam? <laughs> you can't yeah. put up a dam for the ocean. Absolutely. So, you mean, you've got to have both sides equally just... No, we we're thinking, for example, is it possible to use this, for example, with on ships? Yes. You know, how to use this, but this technology, this is then the second step. I think that's right? possible on the ship. I think that's possible on the airline. I think, I think, I think all that's possible mm -hmm. because of what we've got with apartments. Mm -hmm. But when we start talking big, we're talking about just a matter of money, am I correct, in, 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 in dealing with the oceans? Mm -hmm. Yes. Am I right? Because yeah. that's what it sounds like. Yeah, that's yes. right. And, and yeah. how, uh, that should, once we get the machines in place, 
it shouldn't take so long once they start for the water to start cleaning itself. Mm -hmm. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And where does the waste go? Is there any waste? Yes, of course. There's waste. Where does it go? Not my toilet. I'm not flushing it. <laughs> no, usually the waste it, you connect this to the to the canal system, so this will, the waste will be immediately separated from the fresh water, and then you have a certain kind of waste because you have uh, you need some waste material, of course. You know, if you it depends what kind of water you use, but this will be separated them immediately. You clean the waste what, once a, the machines once a month, once every two weeks. There's no need for a cleaning. No. Usually, directly it goes to the canal system. As far as we have constructed to this okay, at the moment. Okay, that's okay then. So, we're in good shape then with the water. Absolutely. You know, we, we saw with the, with the villages though, and we, in the rivers, of, in the mountains, and the hills, and we saw with the poor people and stuff like this, and, and getting them so that they can drink. And then, but now, and that leaves us with another problem that we can solve, I know you can, which would be with free energy. And we're talking about, in relation to the free energy, we're talking connect, connection to the water. Mm because it needs it needs to be connected to something mm -hmm. and these the people again that we're talking about in the hills and the people without mm -hmm. money and the people who need help we're talking about uh, we need energy in order for to do the other one so mm -hmm. we have free energy am i correct yeah and that's again yeah. again a matter of opening up a bunker yeah 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 and we open that up we can mm -hmm. get as many as we wish yeah mm -hmm. no I know you offered me pretty much everything, and it's just a matter now of me finishing the mm -hmm. the other side, with the, yeah. which is where I, I'm working and I'm the Amana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I can utilize my position there in, in order to talk to the proper people and move from there and, and get mm -hmm. Indonesia set up as the jewel of Asia mm -hmm. or Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. I need to go back, I need to wait for them to call me, but to go back and, and get that thing working yes. so that we can then move forward in, the, in assisting the planet. Mm -hmm. Not just Indonesia, which is going to be a, a, a lot of work, but it's going to be well worth it and rewarding.